A short text message, some sodas, and a frozen treat are the last memories Brigham Young University Idaho student Wildalene Figaro has of her friend Juan D. Augustine. A friend in Utah called me and said, Juanito's dead. And I was like, wait, what? I just couldn't, like, when he said it, it was kind of like a shock, but at the same time, like, stop playing with me. Following the shocking news, Figaro got on her phone to find out for herself if she could get a hold of Augustine. I called Juanito thinking that he's going to pick up, um, but he didn't. And so I called a friend to go and to his apartment and check to see if this news is really true if we're getting like the correct person. Sadly, she had to face the reality that last week was the final time she would talk to the 22-year-old. I won't see him anymore. And so that really hurted me so much because I love him as a friend. Augustine drowned while night swimming at the St. Anthony Sandbar Friday. The St. Anthony Police Department and other emergency crews responded to a call of a missing swimmer around 9 p.m. He had jumped off of a diving board into the water and never resurfaced. Augustine was found a few hours later, not far from where he had jumped. From the diving board, he was probably found approximately 60 yards downriver in about 30 feet of water. Law enforcement has already taken many preventative measures to keep the area safe, but the currents are unpredictable and swimmers never know what's under the water. It, it is a tragic accident. Of course, our hearts go out to the family that, that it happened. Um, I don't know that we can, that, um, we can stop this from happening again. I, I, don't, I don't see that how, unless people just don't swim here. Figaro met Augustine while they were both serving Latter-day Saint missions. She said he came from a Haitian background, but was born in the United States and lived in New York. He's a really good friend, and like, we just hang out and we always had a good time. And especially like, we both from the same culture as Haitians, and so we bonded in that, in that same you know, capacity as well. Steve Polson, Augustine's bishop, says from the moment he met Juanito, he knew there was something special about him. Juanito was an outstanding young man, and when I got the news, I was just devastated. But um, he has done his part here on Earth, and now his uh, work begins on the other side. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the family to pay the funeral expenses of a man who will be missed. I remember him as just having a great spirit about him. In St. Anthony, I'm Natalia Hepworth, EastIdahoNews.com.